Storage in Superbase is super easy. Once you have created your project, you can go down here to Storage, okay? And when you click here, you arrive on the list of the buckets. The buckets, it's the places, it's where you are going to store all your documents, images, whatever, okay? So here we are. So I'm going to click on Create a new bucket. And here, let's say I'm going to create a bucket for avatars. All right. So here I can only enter letters, number, dots, and hyphens, all right? So buckets cannot be renamed once created. So be safe on the name you are going to uh, give. If I click down there here, it's going to be a public bucket. So if it's public, anybody who's got the URL will be able to fetch and see the image, okay? So here for avatars, it's a case, okay? I want it to be public. But be safe if you want to have a specific document that are going to be private, you will not edit this public bucket, but you will work with raw level policies after to be able for the users to fetch the document, the private document they uploaded before. So down here, I got a, a warning. Public buckets are not protected. Users can read objects in public bucket without any authorization. Okay. Raw level security policies are still required for other operations such as objects upload and delete. So we see now that when we create a bucket, actually, we have to still write some raw level security policies to be able to fetch uh, the elements. So I'm going to click on create the bucket avatars. And here we are. And we see up here that we've got a label public that tells us that here it's public. It's available on fetch. Okay. So what I'm going to do up here is to upload the file. However, I can, if I want, create a folder also. I can reload, etc., etc. So I'm going to click on upload the file. And here I got the image, the thumbnail of the current video that you are watching here. It's storage.png. And when I click on it, I got some information here. Here's the thumbnail. You get the image size. You get the date. You can download it, get the URL. So I'm going to click on get the URL and I'm going to enter the URL up here. And we see that there is a public inside the, 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 inside the URL. So it means that I can fetch it. And here we are. We got the image available thanks to the uh, bucket option that we got here, download. Of course, if I want to delete, I can click delete here. I can also download it immediately. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this file for now. And now in my application, I'm going to push actually uh, the image directly from some kind of avatar uh, element that helped me to upload the image. All right, here we are. I got this upload element with Tailwind CSS. And when I click on it, I can upload an element. However, I didn't work on the raw level security yet. So what I need to do is to get back to my application and go to my script SQL editor. I have written this SQL uh, script to tell that I want to enable on a certain table the raw level security. Okay, so here we see that the schema is storage. So let's have a look. Let's get back on our table editor, remember. And if I click down there, I got a look for a schema called storage. And this is where is the schema with all the uh, tables and all the policies related actually to the storage. So I'm going to click here on upload. And here we are. Look, we've got three tables. We got buckets. Okay, we've got migration and we got objects. So I'm going to click on bucket. And when I click on bucket, what's happening here? It's that I got actually a table with name ID. Okay, I, with ID ID and name avatar, sorry. I got a created date, etc. Public true, uh, auto detection false, etc. etc. Okay, so here is it's the bucket I created. It's a table related to the buckets that I'm going to create in the future. And look at this on objects. I got an entrance. Okay, that is pushed here. So what I got to do is to enable the role level security on storage and object. So I'm going to get back to my SQL editor and let's look at this query that we got down there. Alter table storage dot object. So the schema and the table objects enable role level security. And here I'm saying for select operation. Okay. I want to select only if you are authenticated. Otherwise you cannot select any element. Also for insert, 
and I, I have to use with check instead of using here. It's really important for insert. Okay, with check. Um, actually, I want to insert only if my role is authenticated. Same for update, same for delete. I'm going to run this query and it's going to enable the role level security on storage.object and add these four policies here. Once it's done, I can go to authentication, policies, click here on schema and go down to storage. And I can look here that for objects, I got those role level security here already entered. All right. So what I can do now is to get back to my storage here to avatars and here I got my component. So let me show you how this component looks like. It's a component made with Tailwind. If there is an image URL, I'm going to show it. Otherwise, I have an avatar upload button here with the SVG that helps me to input actually an image. So up here, I got my function handle uh, file input change. Here we are. So we got the file that I'm going to upload and I'm going to use my client Superbase storage from avatar and I'm going to upload here. I'm changing the name of the file avatar with here the date and I just put the date this way. If you want to put something else, like for instance, the email of the person authenticated or something else, you can do it here. Then if there is an error, I'm going to show the error. It's a basic function help here to push on my storage. So I'm going, I'm using actually the storage uh, from the uh, SDK client, the storage function with from and upload to upload my file. Let's get back. Let's open the console. I'm going to click here. I'm going to click on storage. And here we are. We see that I got my image. So it's not very nice from now. We would say that we would deal with um, a squared image for an avatar, but anyway. And here I got my image on my network. I have a 200 for the avatar and the date. Now, if I get back to my bucket, I'm going to reload. And here we are. I have uploaded my avatar. OK, it's as easy as this. Of course, you would have several buckets in the future, maybe with different folders where you are going to push into. OK, but it's as easy as this. First, you create your bucket. Then you write your role level uh, security policies. Then you create your function here. Thanks to the SDK of Superbase in your application, you use storage from and you upload with the name of the file, then the file itself. 